Hey, what's going on Ecom Dominators? Cynthia here and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to sell print on demand hats. Now, if you've been following my channel for a while, you know that I love to give you guys different product types and kind of showing you how I create designs for them and how I actually promote them for my print on demand business and so this one will be one of those videos also what I always say about print on demand is it's not just t-shirts there are infinite number of products that you guys can go out today and start selling all you need really is a design file so if you haven't started your own print on demand business you can go ahead and register for a free 100% free training at build.tbootcamp.com just to kind of get your feet wet and kind of get yourself familiarized with this type of business already and also if you like videos just like this please do me a favor and like this video and subscribe to my channel and turn on that bell notification so you'll be notified every time I drop a video just like this already guys let's get started Alrighty guys, so what is print on demand? So if you are new to my channel and you don't know anything about print on demand business, I'm going to show you very quickly what it is. And it's a very simple business model in my opinion. You basically take any type of design and you literally upload it onto a product. And that's simply what print on demand is. You literally have no inventory that's all done in the back end with your supplier. So the suppliers of your choice will print this product, embroider this product, um, they will screen print, um, sublimation, whatever it is, they will help you take care of that product production and they will ship out that order to your customers as if they were you. So to, the print on demand business in my opinion is the best business in the world because you literally do not need any type of expensive equipment you don't need you know a hundred different employees you don't need to own the red white and blue yellow orange t-shirt in every possible size right we are only having a design file and we're uploading on a mock-up now this mock-up that you see over here we don't actually own this specific product this product is simply um, generated by a computer that we can uh, upload it onto our Shopify store or Etsy or whatever platform that you are using but that in a nutshell is what print on demand is it's basically taking a design and placing it on your product of choice all right, so in this video, I want to talk specifically about hats. Um, I'm going to be doing a series of different products that you guys can go ahead and sell. Now, with every product, there's always a few tweaks and variations um, just because it's the nature of the product. Um, we don't want to treat every design as if we're treating it um, on a t-shirt or on a mug or on a pillow. Um, with hats, it's a little bit more difficult because it is embroidered. Um, and so there are certain guidelines that you kind of have to follow. So I'm gonna be talking about a few of the best practices that you guys want to kind of keep in mind when you're doing print on demand hats. So the first thing is make sure you download those templates provided to you by your vendor of choice. So say for example, you pick Printful. Printful will have a template that you can literally download and um, make sure your designs fit within their um, restriction size. Now, in my opinion, if you hire a designer, if you're not a designer yourself and you're hiring a designer, I would go ahead and send that template to your designer and say, hey, you know, I need you to help me make this specific design, but I need it within um, this template uh, of size. All right. So the next thing I want to talk about is landscape versus portrait. Now, if you look at a hat in general, as you can see that if you pick a design that usually is more portrait looking, that it may look good on a t-shirt but it probably would not fit very well in a hat so just think about the real estate of a hat and how you want to um, kind of structure your design so on a hat I would always recommend going more towards landscape landscape will be a little bit wider on the hat versus portrait also with hats you can find suppliers that will do embroidered or screen print 
Um, I'm going to be talking a little bit about both, some of the differences. So quickly, with embroidered hats, um, you want to definitely go with a more simpler design only because it is embroidered and certain designs don't very do very well when you are actually embroidering it into the hat. Also, I recommend you guys go with text heavy, which means um, having designs that are just plain text. Um, those work very well for hats. I recommend that you guys stay away from complicated graphics. I've had a lot of customer complaints when I do certain graphics and you know it may look cool on the computer screen and it looks cool when it's generated on the mock-up when but in reality when they actually go in there and they create the product it doesn't actually look like the product or the image that you actually upload so if you are going to do any type of graphics on these hats, I would do very, very simple clip art designs. This is the only time that you guys will hear me talk about um, putting clip art on your designs. I always say stay away from clip art. Um, no one will buy those designs. But in terms of hats, I find that very simple clip art designs work very well because we are embroidering um, these designs on the hats. So we want to make it as simple as possible. Also stay away from gradients or shadows and stick to only solid colors. I'll be giving you guys a quick example on what I mean in just a bit. I have an example, so stick with me to the end. Also, stay away from photography photos, obviously. Um, there's really no way that they could embroider a photo that you took of a tree outside your house. Okay, So stick more with vector designs, which your designers can actually create on Adobe Illustrator. Also, another one is some hats are screen printed, so if you find a suppliers that are screen printing the hats, then your designs can be a little bit more detailed, it can be a little bit more complicated, whatever it is, because it's more or less like how they screen print a t-shirt, all right? So depending on um, the type of hats that you are going for, is you have to pay attention to the type of designs that you're going to um, be uploading onto these suppliers. But from my experience, I prefer more embroidered. It just have a higher perceived value. Therefore, you can sell it at a higher price. So I do recommend you guys stick to hats that are embroidered. All right, guys. So let me give you guys a few kind of examples so you guys get a gist of what I mean by um, selecting your design. So I have two designs up here on the screen. So notice the one on the right. It says uh, tent pitching one. Now, this is more of a um, portrait type design. This is what I mean. If you're going to put this design on a hat, it wouldn't look very well because the hat real estate is very, it's shorter on the height, but it's a little bit wider, right? So you definitely want to create a design that is a little bit wider. Also, if you notice the design on the right, there's a lot of complicated designs. It's very hard to embroider something like this. So I would go with, like I said, text heavy, something a more simpler design like the one I have here. By the way, I created this one myself. Not that I encourage you guys to create your own designs. Obviously, always get a professional designer, but this is for just example purposes. All right, so my supplier of choice, because everybody always wants to know, Cynthia, who do you use for hats? There are so many suppliers that you guys can use. Literally go into the Printful app, type in, you know, print on demand. There's like hundreds of different suppliers that provide you with different types of products. So for hats, I prefer Printful because they give you the option to either do 3D puff or a flat embroidered design. Um, they actually show you step by step on how to do it. So if you, whichever one you choose, they'll give you the directions. Also, I like Printful because they do give you photorealistic mockups. I've used other print-on-demand suppliers like Custom Cat, and I do not like their mockups. It really is not a great mockup. It looks um, very computerized, very fake, and it's kind of difficult because sometimes on the mockups. It will look a lot smaller than in person. It will look a lot bigger, and sometimes it the customers can get confused. You know, why does it look different than the one that I see online? All right. So 
Also, guys, if you um, did not sign up for Printful, I have a free Printful training that I can take you guys on how to install Printful to your Shopify store. So if you head on over to print.tbootcamp.com, you can go ahead and watch my free training on how to use Printful and how to integrate it with your own Shopify store. Also, once you get into Printful, I'll show you guys this a bit later, but you can go ahead and download their hat template where they're going to give you guidelines on how big your design file should be, and if you're going to do 3D puff, a flat embroidery, and if you're going to be using font, what is the minimum um, height that you need for each of the letters. There are certain guidelines that you have to follow um, when doing hats. Like I said, depending on the product, your designs will change. It's you know not a one size fit all you kind of have to look at the product and kind of see how your designs will fit on that product all right so i want to talk quickly about printful versus custom cat because for me in terms of hats these are the two suppliers that i mainly use um, to sell hats for myself so with printful i do prefer it slightly better than custom cat only because i feel like the quality is just better with Printful. Their embroidery, the way um, the hats that they offer are just better. And I like Printful because like with any of their products, it's brandable, which means they'll allow your logo to be branded on the um, shipping label. Also, they have just better mock-ups, which I'll show you an example when I go over the shoulder that once you upload your design, they actually generate a very photorealistic mock-up, which I love. Also, I like that Printful gives you both flat and 3D puff option. I don't believe that Custom Cat offers the 3D puff option. They currently only offer the flat embroidery, which is still fine. Also, Printful is great because they actually take a look at your uh, design when you get an order so they don't actually go through your design once you upload it it's only when you get an order that they kind of look at your design and be like you know this doesn't really work with this 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 um, hat you know this design would not look good embroidered and they will actually hold your order and kind of let you know which is what I like about Printful you know they don't want to push out a bad product and then you know have to deal with customers complaints things like that now with custom cat what I do like about it is they do have a wider hat selection than Printful I can find almost any type of hats that I want right on custom cat and um, I have been using custom cat for some times really haven't had much problem with them um, I had some quality issues with some of them but nothing too major um, also, their flat embroidery just fine. Um, I only use very simple designs, so it's really hard to get it wrong with flat embroideries. But um, I really like Printful and Custom Cat with Printful slightly better. So if I had to pick one, of course, I would go with Printful. Alrighty, guys. So right now, what I'm going to be doing is kind of hopping over and showing you a quick demo on some of the examples that um, I want to talk about in terms of researching a design, the type of designs that I look for, um, how, how to upload onto Printful, things like that. Alrighty guys, so let's hop on over. Alrighty guys, so right now I am on Etsy and I was going through um, some of the Etsy listing to kind of show you guys some examples of what I mean. This is an actually a, an amazing store that I found that is strictly just selling trucker hats and if you come on over here I see tons of uh, designs on here that this person is doing which is amazing now of course they do a lot of text heavy designs which I like so I have a few examples here so over here like I said it's just very very plain text it's just a white embroidery over here same thing I can't people today so very very simple text design do very well for hats now this is an example that I want to show you guys. This one just says unicorn hair, don't care. Um, and then I'm looking at this design over here. Now you can do a design like this if you want to, but this is what I mean by avoiding gradients is take a look at this unicorn. I'm almost certain that this person used a design that looks something like this one over here. 
or even this one over here. You know, it looks super nice when you look it up on the computer screen, but once you actually embroider the actual product, it doesn't actually look like this, right? We're not putting this on a t-shirt. This is not going to be screen printed. This is embroidery. So you got to keep that in the back of your mind when you're creating products just like this. So um, this, if you do not mind that it looks like this, by all means go for it. But in my opinion, I would stay away from gradients or even any type of graphics myself. I would just do strictly text. Alrighty guys, so right now what I'm going to be doing is kind of hopping over to Printful right now and kind of showing you how to create the product itself. So the first thing you want to do is register for Printful. Again, if you want a full tutorial on how to use Printful, simply go to print.tbootcamp.com for the full tutorial. Alright guys, so right now I'm going to give you a quick, simple way on how to upload and create your product. So first thing you want to do is come over here and say add product. I'm going to go here and click the one that says hats. Now they do have a ton of selections. Um, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to click uh, pick this one. This is the distressed dad hat. And over here, they're going to ask you to uh, upload your design. So I'm going to go ahead and click on design. And then I'm going to click upload file. And I'm just going to click this one over here, the one that I just created. Um, before I talk about that, if you want to know where I found the guidelines, I found it over here where if you click on it, it says guidelines and you come down to print file templates, you go ahead and download that template. All right. So once you download that template, you can send that specific file to your designer. Or if you're designing yourself, you can go ahead and use this. So this is how exactly how it would look like. This is already um, 15, um, I'm sorry, 5.5 uh, inches in width and then 2 inches in height. So this is how they want to do it. So all you have to do is come on over here, make sure to hide that specific layer, and then kind of putting your design on this. So again, I created this myself definitely want to get it done by a professional designer so don't forget to hide the background because we just want this one to be embroidered the background just makes it easier for me to read on Photoshop alright guys so once you create the product come on back to Printful and then you go ahead and upload it onto their website and so once they've uploaded again you want to go ahead and drag it so it actually fits perfectly inside of the guidelines over here all right so that looks perfect to me and then the next thing i want to come do is go ahead and say proceed to mock-up and then i get to pick the mock-ups that they have here i like to stick with the default one you can go ahead and select any of the models and then i'm going to go ahead and continue and i'm just going to say gym hair don't care all right and then I'm gonna go ahead and go to pricing now in just a bit I will talk a little bit more about hat pricing what I recommend but just for the sake of this tutorial I'm just going to type in $24.99 and I'm gonna go ahead and submit it to store now what happens now is Printful is gonna push this product mock-up to your Shopify store where you can literally start selling it by tonight you don't have to wait so I'm going to come back over to my Shopify store and I am going to look at the product that I just created. Alrighty guys, so this is the product that we just created and notice what I mean when I said I like Printful because their mockups are a lot more photo realistic. So if you look at my design, it looks like it's already been embroidered onto this hat. It looks very realistic. Um, and I, I really, really love the outcome of this. All right. So if your customers are coming in, they can literally purchase this right now at its cart and check out. Now, I always get questions asking me, you know, Cynthia, I want to see the process after you create the product, meaning how do you create your ads? How do you create um, your targeting, uploading, you know, things like that. So I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to show you guys how I create my ad copy. So in this case, 
you want to create a 1200 by 1200 ad if you're doing Facebook ads that is the dimensions that I recommend um, so if I'm showing you right now I'm at 1200 by 1200 so make sure that is set um, on Photoshop now I recommend choosing a background that makes sense for hats so if you can go on places like Pixabay or Pexels.com and you can find high quality backgrounds just like this. So we are now moving into the holiday season. So this is very fitting to um, the seasons and the holidays. And so that's why I picked this specific mock-up. So what you have to do is literally copy the image of your hat and paste it on here. So I have the exact hat here so all you have to do is copy and paste it and put it on this mock-up now right here you can go ahead and kind of dress up your ad you can add text which I don't really recommend because if Facebook um, sees that you go over 20% text they will kind of lower your reach so I don't really recommend adding any type of text to your ads but you can if you want as long as you stay under 20% also, you can go ahead and add a border to this, whatever you guys want to do. So in this case, I wanted, I felt like this design is a little bit plain in my opinion. I wanted to jazz it up a little bit. So I went ahead and I added these lights, which are amazing. You can go ahead and find these um, kind of on any website. They have these mock-ups where you can download and kind of, you know, drag and drop what you like or what you don't like. So over here I just added these kind of lights to kind of give this mock-up a little bit something extra so I feel like this ad is complete so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be saving this to my computer and then showing you exactly how I run my ads um, on Facebook alrighty guys so let's hop on over alrighty guys so right now I'm inside of my Facebook fan page now this is my test Facebook fan page account and I know that my product has nothing to do with owls again this is for example purposes um, so right now I'm gonna be showing you how to upload ads so all you have to do is I'm gonna go ahead and upload my ad and I'll be right back alrighty guys so I just upload the ad that we just created literally super easy super simple so then we want to now type in the ad description so that we can start running our ads so obviously for my design I'm targeting people who are into fitness that likes to go to the gym likes to work out things like that so if you're in that niche that's perfect so I'm gonna say you know do you have gym hair or you know do you like going to the gym you know things like that so you can just say grab your hat here and then I'm gonna go ahead and grab the link paste it in here and then you can just say you know if you can give a coupon get 20% today free shipping whatever it is or you can just say limited time only so then after that, I am going to click share. All right, so once I share it, this will be the ad that will be running. And to me, this ad looks extremely beautiful. It is stunning. I would have no problems running this specific type of ad. All right, so the next thing I want to come and do is kind of showing you how I create the ad. A lot of people always want me to include Facebook ads in my videos, so let's hop on over, guys. Alrighty, guys, so right now I'm inside my ads manager account. So first thing I want to come and do is go ahead and create your ad. So for the purpose of this, I'm just going to select conversions. And I'm just going to say dad hat example. And as always, they're going to ask you to choose a conversion event. So I'm going to select, um, let's see, purchase. Now, if your um, dot over here is showing up red, that just means that you haven't had any purchases recently and so that's why the pixel is not firing once you start getting a few sales it'll turn green but if it's red you guys can still run the ad there's no issues 
So if we come down over here, we can go ahead and input our targeting. So right over here, it says everyone in this certain location. So you can target United States, Canada, UK, wh wherever you guys want to do. I always like to start US first, and if it works, then I scale it to other countries. Age, I always leave it broad. Never assume that you know your audience. So um, I would actually leave it at 20 or above just to kind of make sure that they do have a credit card now you guys know how i feel about languages over here i always type in english now the reason why i do this is since your ad will be in english you definitely want to target people that can actually read english and knows how knows what the ad is talking about because you guys will be kind of wasting your budget targeting people who although they like gyms or working out but they don't really know how to read english it's very hard for them to understand your ad hence wasting money targeting or presenting your ad to those people so it's very important that you select english as your language now the next thing you want to do is obviously put in your detailed targeting so i'm going to find people that likes gym or i don't really see it Let's see uh likes working out maybe i can just pick physical exercise that looks good and then i always unchecked this box over here next thing i want to do is click edit placement now with the edit placement I always just like to stick with the Facebook news feeds and if I am able to become profitable then I can start scaling it to other places but to start out with I'm just going to do Facebook okay I'm going to deselect all of these Alrighty, so let's come down over here. You can go ahead and set your budget. Alrighty, guys, so once you come on over here, you want to go ahead and select the post that we just created. So I'm going to go ahead and select that post and click continue. And over here, it's going to generate how it's going to look on Facebook once they start pushing out your ads. So it's gonna look just like this, like how we create it. All you have to do is come down over here and click confirm to have Facebook review your ad and then if they approve it, it'll start spending your budget. Alrighty guys, so let's hop on back. Alrighty guys, as promised, I will be talking about the pricing of the hats and a little bit of marketing on how you guys can go ahead and go out there and start selling these print-on-demand hats. So for test pricing, now I have tested out hats for you know a few years now, and I've been testing between the price of $19.99, $24.99, and all the way up to $29.99. Now this is the product cost, but it's you also have to include the shipping at the end to make it worth your while. And now I've been selling my hats um, for a very long time at $19.99 and I was making okay margins but I was always curious what if I increased it to $24.99 would I be able to still maintain my conversion rate while also making um, a little bit more revenue from each of the customers purchasing these hats and so I've tested at $24.99 and found that my conversion rate did not drop between the $19.99 and the $24.99. Now I have tested at an, another higher price point at $29.99. Now at this price point I did see that my conversion rate did drop slightly at $29.99 so I decided to stick to $24.99 and that was kind of like my sweet spot where I was able to make the maximum amount of profits without uh, lowering my conversion rate. Now, in my experience with selling hats online is hat mockups don't do very well when it comes to running ads. So what I do recommend is that you guys go ahead and order a sample of the hat that you want to go ahead and promote. And once you send it to your house, you want to take the hat out 
and go ahead and take your own photos of the hat. Um, the reason behind that is no matter how good the mock-up is sometimes, it still doesn't look very realistic. And if you go ahead and take your own photos of your own hat, you don't need a professional camera. You can actually use your iPhones or whatever your cell phone that you're using. Go ahead and just take a picture of your hat. In my opinion, it just kind of looks more native and it looks more organic. Hence, when people are scrolling through their newsfeed, it doesn't look like an ad. It looks like a regular post from their friends and their family. And people are more likely to buy when they think it's from their friends or their family. So um, the reason behind that is hats just work better if you just take your own photos. Now, make sure you do have good lighting when you're taking these photos. Um, I recommend that you take them outside if the lighting inside your house is bad. But that's just a little tidbit on how I've been kind of testing out my hats, things like that. So if you guys don't want to go through the trouble of ordering the hat and then taking a picture of the hat, things like that. You guys can still use the hat mock-ups. That's 100% fine. Um, it's just a suggestion because I have found that my ads have performed better when I take my own photos, things like that. Alrighty. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys got a ton of value. I hope you guys see, you know, a different side of print on demand and that it's not just t-shirts. It's so many other products. There's hats, you know, uh, with embroidery, there's so many products. It does not have to limit yourself to hats. There's so, so many products out there. All you have to do is Go into your uh, vendors and kind of go through the catalog, see what products they have to offer and try them out, test them. You know, I always say that testing is your best answer to whatever questions that you have. So if you, if you feel like this mug might work for you, go ahead and test it out. If you feel like this legging might work, test out the legging, all right? Also guys, if you have any questions, don't forget to join my free Facebook group it's an amazing group that everyone goes in there and they mastermind and they share advice, tips, things like that. So if you guys have questions about print on demand, e-commerce, drop shipping from AliExpress, anything making money online, um, I've created this Facebook support group where you can ask questions, all right? So it doesn't even have to be about print on demand. If you're selling other products, you can go in there as well. Already, guys, so we kind of share kind of marketing tips and in my opinion, if you learn how to market online, you can basically sell any type of products that you want. Um, so again, links will be down below if you want to join my Facebook support group. Also guys, if you like videos just like this, do not forget to like this video and also subscribe to my channel for more content just like this. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. Live free.